Okay, YouTubers. So you can see what I got going on here. I got Ecotech battery backups and I got Ecotech Vectra L1s and Vectra L1. So basically emergency pumps with emergency backups. And um, I got the fittings there as you can see. I got the PVC piping for both that are gonna be going in both tanks. And the large Vectra 1 is gonna be going into the reef tank. The Vectra M1 is gonna be going into the 120 tank. The fittings are all right there, needed for the hose lines. And um, I got the Silent Air B11, which is the aerator, which I have two of them already, one installed on each of the reef tank and the 120 tank, but I'm going to install one on the 95 hex tank. So three battery backups, one for each tank, two pumps, one for the 120, which is the M1, the Vector L1 is going on the reef tank, and the bigger one, the L1 is going to the reef tank, which is a smaller tank due to the fact that I will be upgrading to a bigger tank soon. So I also have brackets that are going to be going for a couple of the uh, controllers for the MP40s over there. They're stuck on Velcro, but they keep falling off. So I actually got one bracket for one, but I have another bracket for uh, another one. And the Vectros come with brackets also for the controllers, so everything can be held on nicely and tightly. Um, the Silent Air B11 is going to be going on the 95 hex tank. I have one on the reef tank, one on the 120 tank, but the uh, 95 does not have one. And reason being I'm going to the backups is because we've been having a lot of outages and I think it's time for me to stop running cords to the generator and if even if me not being here uh, I just want to just know that I can just leave knowing that if the power does turn off you know at least the systems will still be functioning so that being said I'm gonna go ahead and start installing the Vectra 1 on the reef tank here and you can see here at the price it's not it's not cheap <laughs> even this guy right here cost me 349 this guy right here cost me 449 and that being said it just sucks that nothing's nothing good is affordable in this hobby <laughs> so there's the pump right there you can see it comes with brackets to hold the controller and Here's the power cord going to the Vectra, and you can see there's the ballast right there, and basically the controller right there, and everything is quiet drive. So we're going to be having this slot right here that's going to be going to the battery backup, and it's actually this one. This controller is actually much heavier than the other controller. You can see in the back, it's just it's just much different. But um, this one is going to be interesting to connect. Okay. So that being said, I'm going to come back and this should be installed in this. All right. And I shall return in a sec. Okay. So the power is off right now. You can see it's all blue. It's on. Basically, it's on a standby mode. And you can hear the pump see that's the b11 right there that one is actually activated and i don't know if you can see in there but you can see bubbles and that's what keeps the water oxygenated as the pumps and everything are all down so the ecotex are still running the vortex are still on but um in a little bit i'm gonna have to shut everything down just to get the battery pack that you see here installed into here so I'm gonna move this a little bit this way. And you can see I already got my towel and everything, and this right here is gonna be going right here. And um, these smaller components you can see here are gonna be going right up right here, and I'm gonna be feeding the line to here, which is gonna basically be my return. So this is useless. This actually came with this right here, but um, this fitting is much too large. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things together. And um, basically it's 
pretty pretty basic installation you know just put this in here and uh, the other way there we go and you see that and then this guy right here if I can do this with one hand basically just pops it to here like that see and then this just goes in the front and then the system is basically ready to go and the pump is just thrown into the sump and we'll do that right there so I will be back in just a few and show you the pump in the sump all right okay so you can see now it's got the fittings on here and uh, basically this is how it looks with the fittings you know it gets much larger when you add all this stuff with all that extra space taken away but you know you can put that on you can put the screen on if you want if you don't want you don't have to have it on but I choose to have it on uh, just want to make sure that this pump operates efficiently and I just wanted to show you how it looked before I actually place it in the sump but nice machine man very beautiful kind of sucks that it's gonna be hidden in the sump you know this is not like a show sump but uh, great machinery all right see you in a bit okay so I got it in there I don't know if you can kind of see it in that hazy water right now but it's right there There's all this spaghetti right here I'm gonna get this all cleaned up in just a little bit but you can see the hose line is already connected into the return and now I'm about to hook up all this stuff there's my screw gun into that compartment which is going to go right into here and I'm gonna have it hooked up into here my emergency backup is also gonna uh, battery is also gonna go on this wall right here and keep my overflow uh, container right there so that being said I'm going to need to connect that and be back in a bit okay so I got my controller here and I connected this line here uh, it's a little trick to it you have to actually twist this area like if you're actually twisting on a connection but it basically just goes in simple twist and uh, locks so now I'm gonna connect the ballast over here and I shall return okay so I turned the system back on and you can see it there now and already you can see some of the stuff already over there. Let me just clean that off a little. So it's operating very nicely, very quietly. Wow. Can't even hear the thing. Unbelievable. So Operating very nicely. Let's go ahead and connect it up there. The turn line is now connected. Now it's shooting in some much needed water. There it is. So, I can show you over here. You can see a little bit of the cloudiness in there. So here, we got the system up, and basically, you can see how low I have it. So this thing, you know, has a lot of power to it. It's obviously a big boy, but um, right now I just need it on the lowest one. So it's working great, and I'm going to go ahead and hook up the emergency uh, backup battery pack on this side and get the vortex I mean the mp40s uh, connected yeah and we'll get that going all right see you guys in a bit okay so I got everything pretty much set with the flow and I'm getting much better flow with the with the tank and uh, it's great man this for this Vectra is working great. So I cleaned out the filter sock, got a new filter sock in there, and so far 
all this is working out great. Good. So, just showing you a little bit on what I got going on. And that's already set. You can see it's breathing nicely. So I got to set a uh, amount of flow rate that I want on there. And basically I got it up on just four. So it's at a fourth level of the amount of power that it can actually go. And you can see it can go much more. So I'm getting some nice good flow with this. And uh, great product. And I shall keep going. Okay, so I got the battery pack connected, and you can see the battery backups right there. So it's all in right there, and there it is. And I got it on the fourth dial right there. And to give you an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the power. And I'm just going to shut down the power cord right here. You can see the red light. And there it is. Now you can hear it, pumps have stopped. Now what's gonna happen is, this is kicking in. Now you see that? There it is. It's on backup reserves. And you can see up on top, look it. It's still kicked in. And now we got emergency power going to the pump. Keeps it circulating. And you can see it's dropping the level back down because it's starting to get back in. So as long as the sump is it's working, it's not at full capacity, but you can see the overflow is still kicking in. And things are still working. And you can see the flow up on top. The MP40 is still working. Well, there it goes. I'm going to switch it back on. You can hear that. Now it goes back to full power. And it's back to where it needs to be at. So, that's uh, perfectly what I needed for a power outage. And I get minimal power to the pump, you know, but as long as water's still circulating and it is going into the sump and water's being drawn back up, that's basically what matters. So things are still so good and that's exactly what I want. So in the next power outage, I will be ready. And uh, systems are all working fine. So great buy, great product. And uh, as you can see here, I am going to install a battery backup to the 95 gallon hex and I'm going to install that silent air B11 and I will be back so that concludes this video for the 90 gallon reef everything works good everything works great so see I got it all in there <laughs> okay guys I will send a short little video on my 95 hex showing you the installation of the Air B11 and the battery backup. That one should be much simpler than this one. <laughs>